Morning, this is Captain Australia and I am on Captain Australia's Big Walk. Where the old Buffhead's walking from Brisbane, back that away, to Melbourne, ahead that away. Uh, why am I doing it? It's for a charity called the Kids Cancer Project. Okie dokie, that done. So this morning, uh, so I slept rough in a bit of forest last night and uh, this morning we're off for a place called Can River. Uh, I should get there about lunchtime. And then I'll need to decide whether to stay there and then press on to Orbost in the morning or to make some more K's in the afternoon. So the lovely owner proprietor of the uh, Can River Hotel there has offered a warm bed. Might get a chance to do a bit of laundry. So um, probably would just hang around there. Because I have calculated the end date of the big walk as 19 March. And uh, it takes a bit of pressure off in terms of the distance that I need to cover. Because I want to roll into Melbourne on a Saturday get to Federation Square, kiss the ground, and then rush home to my family. Um, so this is the 65th day, the 65th day on the road. Uh, we are, I don't know, kind of looks like haunted forest over there behind me. If you ever saw a movie, that movie, The Witch, I reckon she'd live in there probably. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but it's lovely though, it's haunting and sort of sad, all of the fire-ravaged forests, but it's all coming back pretty strong too. The way these like communities have all been, you know, ripped to pieces by fire, I can't, you can't help but like, parallel that to ravages in your own life, my own fight with cancer. And uh, the way that the communities come back is lovely. Oh, we got some comments. Oh, we got some people watching and comments. Oh, wait, hello. Let's take a look. Something about a flood warning. Hang on. We will put on the old man's spectacles. Oh, have I lost my... Oh, no, I haven't lost my old man's spectacles, have I? What? Oh, you old doofus. Okay, I may have lost my old man's spectacles. <laughs> Jeez, it's been a while since I've lost anything. Uh, Shane says... Morning, Captain. Good to see you, buddy. I'll be seeing you real soon, buddy. Okay, cool, mate. Look forward to it. Uh, diddly 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 diddly. And good on you, mate. You're killing it, says Sasha. Well, thank you. Good morning, Captain. It looks bloody beautiful where you are. It is. Cindy says, I hope your family is safe and not in flood water. I hope you're having a great day. So there's a flood warning down here for the Can River catchment and uh, back at, back at um, Genoa, apparently. But the floods in Brisbane, well, our house is up on a hill. There's rain and floods right now through Brisbane and into Lismore. Take care, Captain. Have a great day. But somebody died in Indrapilly, which is the suburb right next to mine. So, I, of course, I am a bit worried about my family. Uh, morning, Captain. You're going great guns. I hope you got a good rest in last night, says Cassandra. Yeah, look, sleeping rough is its not ideal, but it's all right. Enjoy your day, says Phil. Hey, Uncle Phil, how you doing? And good morning, Captain. Travel safe, enjoy your day, says Mary. Geez, without my spectacles, I'm like an old granddad trying to read a book. Uh, so not long and we'll see you in the valley. Uh, yes, my friend, I, I will. Once I get to Cannes, I'll, be, I'll have a bit of signal. I'll be able to map things out a bit, give an idea of when I'll arrive in the major towns along the way. But I think the plan is Orbost uh, around lunchtime Thursday. And uh, you can kind of figure out points subsequent if you put it at 25 to 30k a day. So I need to actually slow down a bit. My, my usual distance has been about 34, 35k a day. Yesterday I did 32. Um, but yeah, to time it so that I arrive at Federation Square on a Saturday morning, I kind of get to slow down a bit, which is nice. You know, smell the coffee and enjoy the scenery. So, yeah, that's it. Anyway, jibber jabber, old man. Captain Australia's big walk. I am a champion rapper. <laughs> I was about to just like, you know, boldly list all these things that I'm great at that I'm not actually great at at all. So I'm not really great at anything. And that's the lesson too. You don't have to be, you can find your vision, you know. You can do something constructive and righteous, even if it looks a little bit silly, that's okay, you know? We all get to try and shine, you know? We all get to fight the darkness that's in our lives. And, you know, with a bit of work and a bit of hope, you can overcome it. 
I was crippled by cancer. And I just want that message, you know, I want to be able to share that with even just the, there's one person out there who needs it, you know, that you don't have to wallow. And no matter how dark the cage is, you can pick the lock, but you need that little magic, that hope that it's going to work. And then you can push forward, you get positive outcomes. So anyway, that's what the big walk is. It's one big positive outcome. So it's me being a service and healing myself. And the service is to a charity called the Kids Cancer Project. And that's about the 950 Aussie children every year diagnosed with paediatric cancer. Well, it's paediatric, they're children. Geez, Simon. Uh, so the average age is six and three children every week die. 20% of the children don't survive treatment. So that's three kids a week dying. So that's the charity, that's what I'm marching for. And Melbourne in 20 days. So I'll keep on going and I'll update you from Can River. So thanks very much for your interest. Captain Australia's Big Walk from Brisbane to Melbourne. Cheers.